Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my uh, one week update of the Autumn Stack F3 Honeycomb laser cutting bed. I do apologize if I sound a bit iffy because I'm not feeling 100% today, but there's so much fun to be had, so I'm not going to let that little bit of cold uh, stop me from having fun. So what was the problem? Um, with the A3 Autumn Stack uh, bed, it comes with this uh, wing nut to hold down the uh, metal strip, which is designed to hold down your uh, workpiece material. But because it's so high up, um, when you put it into the um, underneath the machine, sometimes the laser head can get caught. And I don't like anything which is sticking out. Um, I do sometimes make the mistake of not uh, focusing on the material and put a new piece of thick material in there and then the laser heats it. But usually the, the pieces that you heat, it will move along and then you hear the noise and then you press stop. So I'm going to move this away altogether. I already put some short screws here just to hold down the pieces. So if I need to, I can just flip it over and put over thin pieces. But if it is thicker pieces, then the, the screw has to be longer and goes in the same problem again. So what I did was uh, I was thinking about like, you know, those people who have honeycomb cutting bed, they use um, the cutouts like a T-shape and then you can slot it into the uh, honeycomb and then you use that to hold down the pieces. Now you can't do that with this particular uh, cutting bed because they are made of um, those, uh, pointy bit of metal strips instead of a honeycomb. So I made something like this to begin with. So basically I got loads of uh, scrap pieces of free meal pie that wood that I use. So I cut a slot and then hoping that it can like slot into the metal, which works really well. But one piece is not enough to hold down any material. And the other thing is by design, um, the ridges on this metal bed it's not all rigid. Every other one has a bendy kind of a bit to it. They're not really fixed to the metal bed, but on the rails. But um, And then every other bit is actually the strong ones. So what I come up with is basically three of those um, wedge and then glue onto a uh, flat piece on top. What then you have is like a little table. I call them table. Now, if you guys are interested, then drop me a comment and I will link you up with my light burn file. And once you have these pieces, they just push it down. Now, because they got overhang on the ends, so um, that get caught by your uh, work piece, I make the overhang as little as possible so that I can really engrave to the edge. Like I said in my last video, the X20 Pro is really good at cutting and the focus length is quite wide. So even if a piece is like a, a bit kind of a wobbly, it will still cut straight. But let's say you want to have this piece of um, material flat on there, you will use the built-in um, metal slot to hold it down like that, that's fine. But you can also get rid of the ring nut or screw altogether and uh, print your own little tables slot here and then you just press it down and then now that corner is pressed down and then i do the same with uh, this one here so now i know this side is uh, kind of uh, secure and then i can move on to this side as well you can print as uh, you can print. You can cut as many as this if you want. I got loads of uh, three mil pie scrape, like you know, that I don't use. So with four pieces of this uh, little table that I um, slot into the slot, now we have a secure piece of uh, material. So this one will not move and is relatively flat against the uh, cutting bed. Let me come closer to give you guys a closer look. So this is with the little tabs that I push in to hold on to the build material. Now I can uh, print a few more. Actually, I did print a few more that I can like do on this side as well to stop it from moving up and down. I just need another piece there. And then this will actually hold down the material. Now, just to demonstrate what happened without these little tables and to remove them is quite easy. You just uh, take you just pull them out and look. And this is how bouncy it is if you don't have it hold down. Now, um, if you have a honeycomb, you use the one which you push down and it holds it down or you use a magnet. But unfortunately, this bed is not magnetic. So it does rely on to using 
your own uh, ingenious method to hold down the pieces. This tablet, uh, if you make a taper shape for the slot, it makes it easier to go on. You do have to make a different length of these tabs for different height material. For example, if I do have um, a thicker material to cut, then I do have to cut a little thicker, longer piece so that when I stick it down, so I can hold it down a piece of thicker material. So this is just a one week quick update of uh, how I make the bed more useful. Um, obviously there is a lot more design I can do. For example, at the moment they do break quite easily uh, because they are just holding on to by some uh, super glue that I kind of um, use for this prototype. I might have to cross brace it at some point to make sure that you know they are strong enough to withstand everyday use. So this is another way to use up all your scrap piece of uh, free meal pie. So it's a very short video today. I hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. See you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.